right, so this is segment number three. It's a very happy New Year's Eve to everybody. Come off a good hunt this morning. It was a good hunt this morning. It was a very good hunt this morning. We beat the rain. Still not raining outside, but we beat the rain, which is always a good thing. Hate sitting in the rain. Sea duck hunting, and quite often, truthfully, the ski ducks, especially the scoter, they don't fly that well in the rain. But back to segment three, so you want to be a guide. So this is segment number three. And when I first thought about this, I thought it'd be kind of a cool platform to tell some stories, some uh, some of the odd things, some of the unique things that happen when you guide. Full-time like I do, and I've done it for over 20, well, almost 20 years. Next year will be my 20th year. So I do have some tales, very positive tales, and maybe some not-so-positive tales. But either way, I thought it'd be cool to do that. But, 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 I've got questions, comments. I've had some people reach out. I appreciate everybody following along with this. I do appreciate you following along. If you have not, if you could come right down here, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Please leave a comment. If you don't like this, you can leave me a thumbs down too. My skin is thick. All right, so that said, you want to be a guide, you got to have an online presence in the www.world. Social media is very important, but I think even before the social media, you need to have a web page. I tried to do my first back in, well, 90, 97, 98, 99. Donald Hughes. My good friend Donald talked about him in segment two. Sadly, Donald's not with us. Donald, thinking of who we are. Really, we are thinking of you, Donald. Truthfully. Um, Netscape. I made my first web page on my own. People say Pit Boss, Waterfowl, what's that have to do? Well, back in the day, I goose hunted. I always wanted a personalized tag. So Pit Boss, P I T B O S S, seven letters. It's been my Maryland license plate forever. And, um, you know, back in the day, If you used your real name on the internet, somebody was going to come track you down and kill you. Can you believe that? That was what was going to happen to you back in the day. So I didn't say jeffcoats.com, which maybe I should have back in the day, but I didn't. So Pitboss, Pitboss Waterfowl, pitbosswaterfowl.com. So that's how that came about. My very good friend, Kurt Zuloff, had a very good friend, Scott Moody, 20-some years later. We are very good friends. And Scott is an awesome graphic artist. He's an awesome web designer. If you get on his webpage, labradordesign.com, man, he has done all kinds of web pages over the day. But he did my original web page back in the day, and he stressed to me that you need a logo. I think you can see it right over here. Yeah. There. There's my logo. Scott made that for me way back in the day, and he said, he stressed, we got to get a logo. We're going to build a web page around your logo. The Surf Scoter. It's a pretty cool logo, I think. Yeah, it just blew up right there. Boom, 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 boom. So that's the logo. Scott Moody, thank you very much. So Scott made my first web page. If you get on today, that, that thing is like 18 years old, 19 years old. It's still only 600 pixels wide. I'm looking at it on a huge iMac. It's only 600 pixels wide. And I still get comments today that how sharp the web page looks. Some of the plugins don't work that well. We got to really redo it. It's not mobile friendly. And if you want to check out Pitboss Waterfowl, nope, 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 scratch that. Pitboss Fishing, P-I-T-B-O-S-S Fishing.com. That's Scott Moody's handiwork. And that is a very mobile-friendly page. That's going to be more what the uh, new Pitboss Waterfowl page is going to look like. But anyway, I'm getting off on a tangent. Business plan, you need to have the presence on the www.world. That's three W's, right? www.world. You got to get on the web. So get a web page started. It doesn't really matter Even if you're not being a waterfowl guy, if you're going to do anything, any kind of business, any kind of service, my advice to you is you got to start with a great web page. Once you got that great web page, you can build off of that. Do your Instagram, do your Facebook, do all those other forms of social media, YouTube, like you're following me on right now, I assume. And that's where it all goes from, at least my opinion. Your web page is number one. So I'm not so sure how informative or helpful that was. Segment number three of. So you want to be a waterfowl guy. you got to get a good web page. Get a good web page going. Take quality pictures. Not so much the video, but you got to have quality pictures for a quality web page. Come up with some type of a logo, a unique logo, a logo that helps you stand apart from others, and you're off and running. So just because you have your web page going, you're a guy, you know what, the first year, two, three, four, maybe five years, it really is hard to get yourself established. Maybe it was a little bit easier for me back in the day because there weren't so many people at least in Maryland, not so many people targeting sea ducks. There's plenty of goose guides, snow goose guides, duck hunting guides, but there weren't that many people sea duck hunting. So, even though I did have a good web page and I was off and running, my first years were a little on the slow side. So, I did a lot of fun hunting. I took a lot of friends. I stayed busy. 
I got some of my quality pictures. I gained my experience. I gained my knowledge. Back to Donald. He shared a lot of his knowledge with me. His useless knowledge to this day find very useful. But, 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 those first couple years are slow. So it's just the way that it is. And it takes a while to get going, get established. You got to go, 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 do, 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 go, go, go. Busy, busy, busy. Current day, you got to get on social media. You got to, got to, got to, got to, got to get on social media. You got to pound it hard daily with quality, quality pictures, quality content. I put a lot of stuff up on my Instagram daily, and I do think about what I'm doing with it. Sometimes, I got to say, Karen's kind of helped me wean myself off a little bit. I don't show as much drinking. Crown Black Salute. I don't show as much drinking on the main page as I do on Instagram. I don't show as much food as I used to on my main feed on Instagram, but I use the stories. I use the stories, stories. And more stories daily. I try to get at least 10 stories up if I can. And I try to get at least 5 quality content posts on my main feed on Instagram. Now, on Instagram, I've got it set up. It looks like I'm on Facebook and I'm not. Which is a good thing, a bad thing. The bad thing is is that when people message me on Instagram, I'm a little slow to respond just because I'm not really on Facebook. I said Instagram, didn't I? I meant rewind. From Instagram posting on Facebook, I'm not on Facebook that much. And when people message me on Facebook... I think I said it that way, didn't I? I'm not sure. But anyway, on Facebook, I'm not so quick to answer their messages. I'm very quick when people message me on Instagram, but not so much on Facebook. But because I have the accounts linked, when I post on Instagram, it automatically goes on to Facebook. It does, really. It's easy, simple, simple and easy, as I always like to say. So that said, when I do my five, one, two, three, four, five, I do my five posts on Instagram, at least I try to get five posts on Instagram, it automatically goes on to Facebook. I've been on Facebook much longer. I think I'm only maybe at like 15,000 followers. I've kind of put aside my personal account. I really put everything I do onto the Pitboss Waterfowl Facebook account. But Instagram grows very, very rapidly, which is a good thing. Instagram grows so rapidly, especially during duck season. I pick up anywhere from 500 to about 1,200 new followers in a week's time. And for me, I don't look good in a bikini. So I think I'm doing pretty good. 500 to 1,200 new followers not looking good in a bikini. I think I'm doing pretty well on Instagram. Just almost that 50,000 follower threshold. So if you follow me on Instagram, I want to thank you. Thank you very much for following along. I hope you enjoy what we do. Again, I just try to keep it uh, keep it entertaining, keep it busy. And I do try to, at least in my mind, post quality posts. So let's rewind for a second. You need a good web page. You need a good logo. Get that web page going. Once you get the web page going, social media, social media, social media. Hit it hard, hit it hard, hit it hard. Make it a job. If you're guiding to a job, you got to make your social media job. I think of it as a job. It's the first thing I do when I wake up at 2.30 in the morning. I sit down for a moment. I look at my marine forecast. I look at my local weather. I look at my radar. And bam, I'm on Instagram. Instagram, Instagram, Instagram. Go, go, go. I actually look at my Instagram before I look at my email quite often. So um, it is very important. And I look at it as a job. So I'm rambling, I know. It's New Year's Eve. Had an awesome hunt this morning. I'll probably be asleep way Way before midnight because I'm going to get up at 2.30. It's going to be blowing tonight. It's going to be a super sexy morning, I can tell. Hopefully the rain moves out, but it's still going to be blowing after the fact. But anyway, I ramble, I ramble, I ramble. Thank you very much for following along. I appreciate it. Again, if you haven't, please, if you could, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs down if you don't like what I do. You know, if you don't like me, I know there's haters out there, but it's all good. I have very thick skin. (laughs) I hope that your 2018 was an awesome year. It was for me and Karen. Lots of great things happened in 2018. <laughs> I was good. Uh, I, that's a story for another day. <laughs> Lots of great things happened in 2018. I'm looking forward to 2019. And, 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 and as always, you know it, you know it, you know it. it my, my battery just died. You know it, you know it is coming. Woo! Think of you, we are. Woo! Thank <laughs> you.